A former Sandia Casino executive pleaded guilty this morning for his role in an alleged scheme that swindled at least a million dollars from the casino. 39-year-old Daniel Royball faces up to 50 years in prison. News 13's Caitlin McCarthy is live in the Newsplex with details. Caitlin? Mike Royball originally had 699 charges hanging over his head, but he made a deal and pleaded guilty to 17 charges of embezzlement and forgery. Investigators say Royball, who's a former slots acting manager at Sandia, and a slot attendant, Lynn Gallo, staged jackpots up to four times a week for about a year. The district attorney's office says Royball would sign off on those fake jackpots, and he and Gallo would pocket the money. The scheme was discovered in October 2006. Royball was indicted last December. Gallo died before the indictments were handed down. The DA's office told News 13 cases like this can take a long time before suspects are formally charged because of the amount of investigation often needed in white-collar crime cases. As part of the plea agreement, Royball must also pay back more than $1 million in restitution. He will be held responsible for it, and whether he pay, pays it or not is an issue for the probation and Department of Corrections to enforce. He wants the opportunity to get out and pay as much back as possible. As part of the plea agreement, Royball must serve a minimum of 15 years. In addition, he is banned from Sandia Casino until his probation ends. Mike, back to you. Caitlin, thank you very much. Now, Royball will be sentenced formally on October 23rd.